shout outs to Papa Ooch. Because I was talking to Dad before this, right? I usually call him on my on my ride back from the gym. And, you know, after he tells me, you know, he, he, he got done doing his workout, or he's about to go on his walk or whatever. I was telling him about about you. And I was like, Dad, I'm about to have the creator of the single best thing in media today on this podcast. <laughs> And he's like, yo, that's awesome. That's fire. And he said, and this is common sense, right? He goes, wait a minute. He's like, how many views does that have? I'm like, 7.1 million and counting. He goes, holy shit. (laughs) He said, he said, man. He said, and I quote, if they were smart, guess who fucking they is? He said, if they were smart, they would have been hit you up and just brought you on and been like, oh yeah, just, you know, keep, keep it going, you know, and we'll, we'll, we'll back it up, fund it. Listen, if I was Toei, I would have looked at your fourth goal as a joke. No offense. I would have been like fifth. That's it. That's all you, bro. If I'm Toei and I am spewing money out of all ends, I literally would have been like, Here's 50, keep the change. <laughs> Done. Right? So, so yeah, so that was, that was, you know, compliments from, from dad, right? To you, because we were saying this all, we're praising legend the entire freaking episode, if you guys didn't really know this. Okay. But this does lead me to one of my actual questions that I have written down here is that has anyone from Toei or anyone of any official capacity reached out to let you know that they've seen it or you know have any comments about it no and i hope they don't (laughs) Mm. yeah the 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 longer this can be unnoticed by anyone like at that level i think better because you never know even though people like it you never know it can be considered defamatory on a professional level people might like it so much and that could be considered defamation because it's uh potentially redirecting people in a direction that company wishes that it shouldn't be that way so i think it's wise that like uh yeah like it it, uh, not wise but that's not the right word but i think it's a good thing that i haven't been contacted i hope i don't ever get contacted really the only contact i would really ever want is if somehow i could get into a conversation just to say thank you to akira toriyama but uh that's as far as i would want it that's why now here's a night here's a thought right and I know this is definitely, in a sense, it, 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 this is is a shot in the dark as well, right? Because you know, for the reasons that you that you mentioned, I mean, it, 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 that is a very real thing to be worried about, you know, because whether it's you know how you handle, which by the way, guys, zero money was made off of this, in case no one, in case no one knew, right? Um, even when you handle it like that, and everything is built from scratch, and it's out of love, and it's you know a love letter and it has great intentions behind it and you're just doing it because like you said you made it for you right that is a fact despite all that you know there does come that <laughs> that risk of it being too good <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine having that problem right well yeah that, that, it is it is that good okay because it's a genuine concern right now yeah I appreciate the fear that's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that would be wild if they, they were threatened. <laughs> well, see, and but, to do that shit. No, no, no. <laughs> but see, but in a way, that's... I look at that, right, as, as, as a few things, right? If I was Toei, and clearly if I was Toei, I would handle that, handle everything that they do completely differently. But, you know, that is its own problem in and of itself, culturally, right? But if I was them, and I saw something like that, like legend for whatever it was that i was you know were uh, already had a a 30-year legacy and you know established i would i would be like honored i would be like wow like somebody loved my work that much that they made their own version as just a way to just say i love dragon ball z and thank you because that's what you did i mean the company might not care but if akira toriyama the creator cared that would be pretty cool yeah right so like 
So where I'm getting at, right, is that it's not alien to the idea of having multiple continuities in Dragon Ball, okay? Because that's an ongoing debate in the modern bullshit that's happening, but that's neither here nor there. But what I am getting at is that there does there there's already things within the universe the overall universe of dragon ball like the umbrella of dragon ball that exists in their own places so like we have the mainline stuff right and then of course there are the original movies that everyone just labels as non-canon because they are not canon canonical to the main continuity of the story that has been laid out you know, through the manga and the anime or whatever. And then there's things like Super Dragon Ball Heroes, where Super Dragon Ball Heroes is a game. It's a video game that makes enough money that they can literally pump out its own manga mm -hmm. and its own anime to promote that video game, right? Is that the one that looks like a... Like a big deviant arts version of anime, uh, like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> it might as well if I could be. There's so many like different. It's just like a, it's completely different, right? Like it's Trunks it's is Super completely Saiyan different. 3 and, like all this sort of stuff. Yeah, they take. Okay. Yeah. They they basically they so in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, they have multiple timelines, going on like and and the characters intertwining with each other. So like you'll have what is known as Zeno Goku. Which is a Goku that is essentially GT, like he has the Super Saiyan 4 interacting with our Goku, which has the Super Saiyan Blue and Ultra Instinct and all that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And they're literally like fighting alongside each other. There's a, there's a few times where they spar or whatever. And that, and that exact thing is applied to not only just the main characters, but characters that are dead, that are like you haven't seen in forever, like... There's like this full power Turles now that he's got the ratted Super Saiyan 3 looking hair. And I saw that and I was so confused. I was like, how the hell did we get here? But my point is that there's so many other like it's not it's not completely alien to want that because we've talked about this on the podcast before. And one of the things that we would love to see happen to the franchise is if they treated Dragon Ball almost like a Marvel, where Marvel, right? Funny enough, you, you know, you kind of work for them, right? Uh, they have all these superheroes, right? Everybody has their own story, and they all intertwine at some point, one way or another, with each other. And there's different stories told by different authors, and there's this, there's there's where there's six, uh, Earth six one six, and you know all these different you know, spots in time and history and whatever. And I'm like, dude, they could and should do that with Dragon Ball, especially when we have stuff like this that is just so good on its own that it, it's almost it's almost criminal to just not, you know, give it that space where it's just like, okay, we know we have the main stuff. We know we have Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Hell, we know that we even have any game that they come out with. Because games like Kakarot, they end up changing or doing something different with the story. Which always causes an uproar and confusion within the fandom. Because, again, not everybody is like in sync with knowing like, hey, it's a game. They're going to change things. It doesn't really matter, right? But that's another continuity in and of itself. And then it even goes down to the level where... And not a lot of people remember this, but there's there exists a manga that was a complete gag. It was called the reincarnation of Yamcha. I don't know if you ever heard of it. No, never heard of that one. But this is a rare this is a rare occurrence that takes place in our history with this fan, with this with you know with this franchise and IP that they published officially through Viz and all that a manga that had realistically Nothing to do with anything, but it obviously came directly from the source material. It was basically a, about a fan that is a fan of Dragon Ball, loves Dragon Ball Z, and somehow wakes up as Yamcha 
in the main story of all the events that already have have taken place. Mm-hmm. And he's and he and and to him, he's like, wow, like I know everything that happens. I can change the fate of Yamcha. I That's can cool end idea. up with Bulma. And it's so funny, right? It's a gag. And it's something to enjoy. That's the thing. We want more more content to enjoy. And I own it. I read it. And I loved it. I thought it was fucking hilarious. I was like, dude, this is actually like funny. And what happens at the end is just like, oh, okay, well, it was fun. It was a good read. Not a waste of my $8 that I spent or whatever, right? And I'm just like, see, things like that can work. There is a there is a space for this. And you clearly proved it on that level. So, I mean... It would be nice if even Toriyama, because I mean, look, 7.1 million, bro. To me, I'm just like, there's no way somebody over there hasn't seen it for themselves. And they, at least they're doing one of these. They're like, <laughs> so yeah, I, I just, I just wanted to freaking put that out there, man, that like, I think it would be really cool and and I don't think I honestly and and that's another thing. I don't I don't think that it would really threaten anything because Dragon Ball has its legacy. It's established. It's not going anywhere. As long as they choose to keep writing for it, it's always going to have a place in people's hearts, on people's TV screens, no matter what. This podcast is built off of that. And despite how we might feel about a lot of things, we're still talking about it, right? We're still we're still critical. We still love it. We still hate it. <laughs> you know, it, it's a it's a it's a it's a give and go type thing, right? And I and I really believe that it wouldn't even if like the best case scenario is they hit you up and they're like, you know, we really liked what you did. So here's what we're gonna offer, and oh, that would be great. I would feel like like I have had no part in this outside of just providing you guys with more hype and getting more people excited about it with my theory videos and all this stuff and like like you guys do not owe me shit because I feel like I owe y'all everything for giving us what you gave us the gift that is legend right and it would be cool it would be really cool if 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 they if they went out of character and was just like okay like <laughs> let's do it like how like it, like how, like how would that make you feel? It's complicated because originally I thought that might be a good idea, but then I started to think, um, yeah, if they ever did want to do something like that, it's just me working for them, and I don't know if you know anything about Japanese animation budgets. They're not very good a lot of the times. The staff is very underpaid and it is a lot of overtime and that sort of stuff. I don't know what their feature budgets are like though. So I treat Legend as a feature, not TV animation. So you never know. I would not I would never want to underpay animators. And if that's what it would take to get your movie to look that good, like Dragon Ball Z Super Broly, I would never do it that way. But there's not really even, honestly, there's not a reason for me to even say that because that's that's almost undermining them like oh you don't think we would give you a proper budget for this like so but i mean if all things were like green like if i could if they if i could get their their sign off and this sort of stuff that would be pretty amazing yeah oh yeah oh that gets me waka waka (laughs) (laughs) oh that's that good shit